Hello, I'm James George, and this is Creative Beacon, and this week I'm going to talk about paths and shapes when working in Illustrator and Photoshop. So if you've been using Adobe products for a while, then you'll know that uh, you can use Photoshop and Illustrator interchangeably. Uh, for creating graphics and things and so I'm going to show you uh, something interesting that a lot of people don't realize that you can do with with Illustrator or sometimes you forget um, okay we're in Illustrator and let's say you uh, create a no, let me, let me, let's say that you take a tool such as the circle and let's say that you create a an interesting custom shape and you know a lot of people will do this inside of Illustrator just because it's a little bit quicker and more intuitive than using Photoshop so let's say I use this and I'm just gonna create just a basic shape just a moon shape just so you get the idea so let's say you create this shape you can copy this and then if you flip over to Photoshop you can when you hit command V or control V and on a PC you have the paste options come up and you can paste it as a smart object as pixels as a path or as a shape layer so one of the cool things is okay if you paste it as a smart object let's just do that for a second you can scale it and place it as you see fit but one of the cool things is if you want to edit it you just double click this little icon here and it will open up the file in Illustrator because you pasted it from Illustrator it's an embedded Illustrator smart object inside of your Photoshop file so we'll close that we'll go back to Photoshop and I'll go ahead and delete the smart object layer if you paste it again and then you use uh, for example paths or shape layer if you do shape layer you have uh, full control especially if you use the direct selection tool you have full control over the fill and it's just like having an illustrator shape but you're working in Photoshop and you have your fill and your stroke and how large your stroke can be and the type of stroke that you can apply another thing that is really cool is once you have this and let's change the color to black you can uh, define this shape as a brush preset and create custom brushes from your illustrator shapes you can also define it as a pattern or you can you can define it as a custom shape and save it inside of your Photoshop uh, program so that you can bring it up later if you need so you can create entire collections of shapes from illustrator and bring them directly into Photoshop and save them for later uh, it's the same as being able to save your illustrator shapes as symbols and bring them in later break them away from being linked as a symbol and then you can edit them and customize them as you see fit and so this is just a little bit of a workflow tip for you if you want to create custom shapes in illustrator and bring them into Photoshop and save them for later you can add them as a custom shape in seconds and you'll be able to bring them up, edit them, and work with them easily. Well, that's my tip for this week. I'm James George, and this is Creative Beacon.